Greetings and welcome everyone to episode 11 of our SevTech Let's Play series and it has been an amazing journey so far and we are going to continue on that journey by working towards <sighs> completing age 1 but along the way let's have a lot of adventures and there is another creeper let's take care of him real quick we had a brown bear hit us so after I left you guys I ran over to that area over there, remember? And I showed you guys the farm. And then on my way back, I got attacked by a gigantic brown bear. They have like 50 health. It's insane. Totally awesome though, but still a little bit crazy and insane. So what we're going to do today is we're going to expand a little bit and work on our new additions that we got by being able to go to the next age. So I have a feeling that we're going to grow a little bit and hopefully grow enough to make it worth our while. So for starters, I'm going to swap this back here and see there's the there's the bear claw right there and we even got bear meat out of it. Holy smoke thing. He hits pretty hard. Good thing I had all my food <laughs> buffs on which is really nice. So but the first things first here Let's just craft our crafting table right there. It's perfect. Bam. Upgrade to crafting. I'm just going to place it right there. I'm not even going to move that. Because I pay homage to that thing that I'll probably never use again. Ever. Ever. This one will work just fine. <laughs> yes. I, I'm okay with not ever using that one again. But I am glad that we learned from it and we're able to use it during the time that we did have it so what I want to do now is we're gonna look at uh, upgrading a few of the things one of the things we're probably gonna look at doing is getting the better chests um, these ones here aren't necessarily as important because they're in the system and we don't really need any more than the than the eight or so that they provide nine I think how many is it one two three four five six seven eight nine yeah nine but that should be more than enough for this setup for those I mean at least for now anyway what I'm more interested in is, we are so out of storage, we've been out of storage for a long time. I don't even know if we have access to storage drawers yet. I don't even know if they're in the pack. Clearly they're not in the pack. <laughs> or they're clearly they're not in unlocked yet, if they are in the pack. So, I try my best not to look through the mod list, because I want to be surprised as we go through this. So, it's one of the reasons why I, I only vaguely watch people's videos, or, um, or look at screenshots through Google. Because I try to experience it all on my own with our way of doing things. So there's our crafting table. And the next thing I want to make is I want to make a... a um, And you still can't make sticks that way. Okay. That's that's okay. I want to make a hoe. Because I would like to go... Um, plant that area over there. What was that? Is that the fire stick? Yeah, the whittling fire stick. Oh, nice. I'd forgotten about you, sir. But now, we have a hoe. So, there you go. We can, can we hoe it? Yes, we can. So let's see here. As you can see, I, I've hit this one. Craft a hoe to begin farming more efficiently. And then of course, craft a regular crafting table. Very nice. Welcome to age one. Welcome to the next age. Blocks previously hidden will now become visible, such as ore spawns and others. So, I also wanted to show you that when I was out running around a little bit, I or running away from the bear, I should say, <laughs> I may have run across, I may have run across what I think is a chunk that has stuff in it. So, over here, close to our garden, right, there is some piles of stuff on the ground. This, uh, Azerite samples. So, I'm assuming this chunk has stuff in it. But we'll get to that eventually. But for now, let's break out this hoe. And we're going to plant some seeds across here. The worms I hear don't last for... What is that? Chili pepper seeds? Neat. We may just plant those eventually. But this should allow us to go all the way to the edge. So that the water goes all the way there. And we need wheat so we can do more leather, and we are going to upgrade leather. Leather is so crucial and important. Especially right now when I have no armor. 
Leather is super important. We're gonna pick up those seeds in a moment. We're just gonna hoe this up real quick. I noticed we're not getting any worms for hoeing though either. Must not be unlocked yet. No worries. We will unlock it as we get to it. I do like the actual addition of worms though. They are pretty nice. It's a nice addition. Zenga. Oh, and we just got one. Speaking of not having any, we just got one. Oh, holy smokes, we got ten of them. And tomato seeds. We got tomato seeds? What, what? Tomatoes need seeds too, I guess. There we go. We just got to keep going with it. There we go. One more section here and we'll be done. One, two, three, four. Whoops, not quite so far on that one. We'll fix that. There we go. There we go. Got them all done. Now we just gotta get them all planted. We need to figure out what we're gonna plant there. We can plant these tomatoes, these chilies down here on the end. I mean, why not? Well, they don't plant there. How do you plant them? Weird. Maybe I can't plant them yet or something. They just won't. Huh. Weird. Have to hold on to them. Maybe there's another way to do it with rustic. So we're going to go grab some other seeds. And we'll plant them there. I love how that eucalyptus tree is there. So let's see here. What are we going to plant? We're going to plant some of you. Definitely some rice. No, not that rush. Let's see. Lots of cotton. We could use that. I'm not really too big fan of the beets right now. And we definitely want to plant potatoes. Carrots. I think that's about it for now. Yep, that's pretty good. So we'll plant all that. We got plenty of room for all of it. That's for sure. So we're going to put cotton right out front here. There we go. Now next we got some rice seeds. I'll put rice all the way down on the end. No, I'm going to do rice next because it can do the most. I mean, you're talking paper, you're talking bread, you're talking slime balls. You can do it all. So then for this next section we'll do wheat since wheat's another prominent one here. No, we'll do these two here first. Potatoes and carrots. We'll half and half them here. If we can. Because I'm not sure how far away I am from the house before we have issues with stuff growing. But we'll definitely see a line if we're too far away from where the chunks stay loaded. But, you know, we'll never know until we try. So let's plant our wheat here. There we go. Wheats are good for chicken and cows and all that kind of stuff. So it'll work out quite well. And we're in the water. Okay, no piranha. Ha, <laughs> no piranha this time. I got hit by a piranha earlier when I was digging this out. Little sucker, he's quite quick. So there we go, we got all those in place now. We're gonna try to make all of this rice here. So this will all work out. So there, that's pretty good, I think. We have cotton and we'll just expand it as we get more seeds. So let's head back now. We'll drop off our remaining items. And we could plant reeds there too. Maybe eventually we will. I feel they'll get in the way if something jumps up there though. Okay, so we're gonna throw those seeds in there with those seeds. Put back our carrots and our potatoes. We need to find a place for our worms. We can throw our mushrooms in there. Yeah, we should probably not throw them in there. We should probably throw the meat in there. Yep. Let's see here. Like I said, not much room at all. Canola. We could do canola, couldn't we? Or hemp. Hemp and canola could probably be planted as well. 
And what we'll do is we're going to use the farmland that's over here for that purpose. We no longer really need this area. Since you plant all that wheat over there, we'll use this area for other things. Like these seeds. So, I'm not really sure what the hemp does yet. It's from... Well, it says better with mods, but I don't think it is better with mods, but... Well, hello there, fella. Let's breed you guys a little bit here. There we go, got those two fed. Let's go over here and get a few of these guys. There we go. And one more pair. There we go. All done. That made three more babies. Just what we needed. Holy smokes, we need to eat. What should we eat? Eh, we'll just eat some berries. Don't want to use up all of our good stuff just yet. Berries are quite plentiful. Since I keep finding bushes all over the place, I just line my house with them. So our grove is getting overgrown over there. At some point, we're going to have to handle that. Okay, so let's go in here again and drop our stuff off like that. So we're going to start replacing our chests in here. That's why I wanted to look at that that crate that's available. I just saw it. I want to know what it does. So you have the abysmal craft wooden crate, which, okay, so it can be crafted, but I wonder what it is though. We'll have to check it out. And then of course these here storage crates. I don't know what they do, but I want to see them. And they're just a chest are surrounded by uh, wood planks. So with that, I'm going to take some more wood here. I'll probably take this extra birch we have here and a few more pieces. Let's take 16 in total and we're going to throw it out there in the... We're going to throw it out there for the horse to cut up. He does such a good job. Can't tell him no. We're going to grab some wood he's got here. And we're going to go back in. And we're going to start making some chests. Now, I'm not sure if I should expand this area or if I should just build a whole new workshop. I'm going to have to think about that for a minute before I do anything. Because I don't really want to destroy this cute little hovel. This may just become like my home. And then we just build a workshop or something off to the one side. And I think that's exactly what's going to have to happen. I almost used this. <laughs> I almost used it. That would have been so funny. Whoops. So let's go here. We'll go like that. And this is some sort of crate. We're going to check that out in a second. Let's grab a few sticks. So let's put this down. I want to see what it does. And how it works. So it's just like a normal chest. It's just... I can pick it up. Huh. Very nice. That's interesting. Aesthetically, it's not the best, but... I mean, the fact that I can just literally pick it up... While it has stuff inside of it, like let's say the worms and the mushrooms here. And it's inside there. Holy smokes. That is pretty awesome when moving time comes. I wonder if you can nest them. So if I can just put a whole bunch of them inside of them, you know. That would be an interesting idea. So now I'm going to try to make this wooden crate here and see what it looks like here. Yep. Let's give it a whirl here. So what I'm going to do is make the... Oh, it technically says I don't have the chest unlocked yet. That's probably a bug. Not that I have it unlocked and I shouldn't. That it isn't preventing me from making it just yet. So, let's see. Wooden crate here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to take it down or whatnot. It's got a lot of inventory. Now, I wonder if because they're connected to each other, if is it if it's getting... No. They actually have separate inventories that is more so than this one. One extra row, in fact. So I can't pick them up. Oh, I can pick them up and carry them. Like a... Like a like a chest chest. Interesting. And I can set them down next to each other. Very nice. 
So unlike a chest, I don't have to worry about putting more than two of those next to each other. Now, I wonder if I can pick these up. I sure can. Ho, ho, ho. We are doing some sorting today. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this stuff sorted. And then I'll be right back because I don't want you guys to have to sit here through all this. You can sit here through the experimenting but not through the actual process because that would just be really boring. But I'll let you guys know how it turns out and you guys will get to see it here in a minute. Be right back. So here we are. We're back. We got all of it sorted nicely in place. I can make a single chest can make two of these crates. They're really nice. The only downside I found with them so far is you can't use the merge to nearby chest command, unfortunately. But it's okay. It's not that big a deal. You can merge from inside of here and whatnot. And I have all this extra stuff in here anyway. Um, gives us lots of extra room for all of the items that we have. It's very, very nice. So I think also I'm going to build a workshop. I like having a house here and everything, but it would be really nice if I had a full workshop to work from. And I can even get in and out of here now without too much difficulty. I, I dropped those down and left them into place. But we are making progress. I want to go check on our crops out there. And let's go see how they're doing. No more bears attacked. At night it was raining, so thank goodness. See, we're looking good. We're looking good. Everything's growing like it needs to. Yep, it's looking dang good. Carrots, potatoes, we need a little bit more rice, but hey, can't really complain just yet. It's doing good. There we go. So we'll put these up and then we will get back to work. I know you're a monster. So let's see, we gotta pick a place for this one. I don't think I have it anywhere. Well, we'll put it with the strings if that's what it's going to make. No big deal there. Okay, so let's look back in our book. And let's see what else we can easily unlock this age to continue on. Now, mining would be nice, but I think we're going to go straight for being able to do our leather. Leather is the key. We need to be able to make new armor and stuff like that. And I wouldn't mind having a dimension to be able to hunt in as well. But that's something we're going to have to set up for and prepare for here later on. But for now, let's jump into what it takes to stirring the pot. Looking for a more effective way to make leather or dough? Craft a wooden basin. Fill it with the correct liquid and items, then stir. So let's try that. A wooden basin. So let's see here. Wooden basin. There it is. So it's pretty simple. It just requires some logs and some sticks. So we can do that. We can do that pretty easily. Let's see here. We sorted everything out to be a little bit better than it was before. So we'll grab it like so. Crafting is much easier now. Much, much, much easier. I don't think it needs, um, I don't think this thing needs, uh, anything above it or below it. So we just need a place to put it. Hmm. Well, we can put it outside here. Like right here. We should be good. So let's see. We gotta drop the ingredients in there. There's no inventory to access it by the looks of it. So we're going to need some water. So let's grab our trusty fluid bladders. And then we're going to need to make some more resin here, I think. I think I just got to grind this up. Oh, we got... I put the, those low-grade charcoal blocks in there. and They did wonders there. We'll put this away. If I can remember where I put the charcoal. Getting used to the new inventory will take some time. Maybe I left it outside. Yep, sure did. There we go. Good enough. He just keeps going and going and going. Okay, that should be enough to get us started. Let's fill up our bladder here. And then what we'll do is drop that in there. And we right click it in. 
Okay, there we go. And now grab some leather here. Let's see, do we use this leather or do we use the other leather? That's the question here. Oh, we need to use the other leather. Hmm. Well, we have the ability to make more than one basin, so we might as well. And then we'll take some water with some salt. And we'll go at it here. There we go. So we'll set down another wooden basin here. We'll drop in some more water. And then we'll drop in four pieces of this. I think that's how many we need. Okay, so... Interesting. Oh, we, we actually have to stir it. Weird. It's a pretty neat mechanic. Boy, does it eat up time. Hmm. That's weird. Let's look at this recipe again here. It requires a full bucket of water and a single piece of an unfamiliar item or a piece of salt. Okay, so it only requires one piece of salt. So that's what it is, I bet. Let's see, how do we get these out of here? There we go. Let's see if we can stir it now. Probably the same thing with this one. Can't have it in our hand. There we go. Now let's try stirring again. We gotta make the concoction, right? Or we gotta add the leather now. Oh, we add the leather now. Got it. Okay, so we're getting it. We're getting it. We'll keep stirring it and see how this works here. Oh, wow. It did work. That worked pretty easy, too. And successful. <laughs> We're going to put up more drying racks here. We're going to really need some more drying racks. Okay, so let's go out here. Let's get some more planks here. We got plenty of planks to be able to use now. Yeah, let's not throw those in there just because we don't have very many. So let's see here. Let's make some planks. That should do the trick. And four of those. That should definitely do the trick here. So let's see. Where should I hang them? Let's see. One, two, three, four. That should do it. One, two, three. Okay, that's good. Start there. We'll throw that in there. One piece of salt. Oh wait, we can't throw it in there. We gotta tap it in there. And then we stir, stir, stir. This is much more efficient. And there we go. Got those three there. I don't need enough for two more here. There's two more. Like so. So we'll put these up here, somewhat out of the way. So that gives us eight total, or no, six total, my bad, to be able to work with here. So we'll be able to have plenty of leather at this rate. This is so much faster. So much faster now that we figured out how to do it. A wooden basin. Two turns. And we got it. Very nice. We could turn out a whole bunch of leather this way. I'm not going to be burning through salt anymore. There we go. And of course water. And then spin, spin, spin. There we go. And we got more. We got six more pieces to use as soon as these ones become dry. 
and then we'll do the next step in the process. It's gonna work out pretty well. What I need is those uh, tool racks from, what is it? Cooking for blockheads, that'll get us what we need there. Okay, so we made the wooden basin, and it's working really, really well. Let's eat real quick. Let's look at what else we can we can do to unlock here. Well, chose the wooden basin, that's good. Um, not really gonna get into mining too much this episode, we'll, we'll save that one. But we've already made the clay, oh, we need to make the bottom end of the barrel for this, for this for when we go to smelt stuff. And we will, we will, and an anvil. I want to experiment with the aqueduct, that's gonna be a whole episode probably just by itself. So, we got our leather hair drying. There we go. We can put up three more. Like so, we can take these three, drop them in there. Spin, spin, spin. There we go. <laughs> Man, that is so much faster. So much faster, I tell you. That is so much faster. So we'll wait for these to finish. It's already become a night. So I don't notice if it happens, but um, I don't know if it's because of it. But I fought a skeleton that had full body armor. I thought that was pretty crazy. I think it might be because we entered stage one they may have gotten a little bit harder or something. That'd be my guess. Drop those in there. Oh, there's a glitch. Okay, so we'll take a piece of resin now. Drop it in there and spin, spin, spin. Two turns and we should have it. Bam. Man, we are so ready to go. But yeah, this leather's working out real nice. We're working our way through getting these better items that are going to help us out. I don't know when exactly we get the cauldron, but that'll be another one. Nice one to look into at some point. But I think on the next episode, we're going to go try to do a little, uh, a little mining. We have access to it now, and I think it'd really be beneficial for us to test it out. Not only that, but we can, uh, we can work on doing some of our, uh, smelting. We have the basics of that. No alloy making at this time, but just basic smelting. I assume we're going to have access to copper and maybe tin. But this is pretty awesome. But like I said, I think we need a workshop. And I think between episodes, that's what I'm going to do is be able to give us a workshop to be able to work with. And I think that's where we're going to call this episode at. We've accomplished quite a few things. We got the storage rearranged with the new larger chest items. And unfortunately, we weren't able to sh uh, click them in anymore. I was going to say shift click. Um, the men anymore from our emerged nearby chest, but you know, it'll all work out in the end. We have much more space. I mean, we have nearly double the space, if not a little bit more than we had last time. But that's pretty freaking sweet. So, I thank you guys again for tuning in. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.